Did you know that cancer causes around 13% of all deaths worldwide? This is about 7.4 million people each year. In America, one out of four people will die from some form of cancer, making cancer the second largest killer after heart disease. Humans have been treating cancer for decades using expensive treatments, such as chemotherapy, radiation therapy, and surgery with generally low success rates. Even when the treatment does work, the patient's body is damaged forever, and there is a chance that cancer will come back and come back stronger. There are a lot of companies, including ours, racing to find a cure for this terrible disease. After years of research, Image Biotherapeutics is developing a new immunotherapy to help patients with various cancers, including triple negative breast cancer, prostate cancer, and many other types of cancer. How does it work? Plasmid DNA encoding tumor antigen is injected into a patient's muscle cells. After the injection, the DNA enters muscle cells, where it is transcribed into mRNA, then translated into tumor-specific antigenic peptides. Antigenic peptides are presented by infiltrating professional antigen-presenting cells, which stimulates the proliferation of tumor-specific helper and cytotoxic T cells that can seek and destroy cancer cells throughout the body. In addition, the expression of tumor antigen can stimulate antibody-producing B cells. These B cells secrete anti-tumor antibodies into the bloodstream that can bind to tumor cells and target them for elimination from the body. Basically, Image Biotherapeutics plasmid DNA vectors tell your body's immune system to produce B cell tumor-specific antibodies and anti-tumor lymphocytes, which are natural products of the immune system, to circulate throughout the body hunting for cancer cells. Image Biotherapeutics' immunotherapy has many advantages over other forms of breast cancer treatments. First, the cancer cells are killed by the patient's own immune system. That means the immune system captures this information, which can be maintained as an immunological memory throughout the patient's lifetime, decreasing the chance of breast cancer drastically. Patients will have a greater peace of mind because of the decreased chance of their cancer ever returning. Second, the anticipated patient dose to start this reaction is very small, less than 100 micrograms of DNA. Because such a low dose is needed, the price of a single unit will be low in comparison to other treatments, making it affordable to the general public. And third, the costs to produce our cancer immunotherapy products will be considerably lower than traditional vaccines or other treatments. The vectors are stable at room temperature, making storage and transportation much easier. The goal of our immunotherapy is to create treatments that are easily scalable and available for rapid production. Right now, our treatment is in the development phase. Preclinical safety evaluation includes assessing local reactogenicity and systemic toxicity, as well as histopathology in appropriate animal models before moving into human clinical trials. Our treatment is expected to reach the market in seven to 10 years.